students welcome to me to maths classes today's topic is from class 12 that is chapter 7 integrals and we are going to solve some important questions of miscellaneous exercise so let us start with the first question this is your first question that is question number 26 of miscellaneous exercise evaluate integral 0 to pi by 4 sin x cos x अपॉन कॉस एच पा फोर एक्स प्लस साइन एच पा फोर एक्स डी एक्स नाउ टू सॉल्व दिस इंटीग्रल लेट आर आई इज इंटीग्रल आई इज जीरो टू पाइव फोर साइन एक्स इंटू कॉस एक्स अपॉन कॉस एच टू पा फोर एक्स प्लस साइन एच टू पा फोर एक्स इंटू डी एक्स सो वी कैन do one thing we can uh, divide from cos raised to power 4x so we are going to divide numerator and denominator by divide numerator and denominator by cos raised to power 4x so we will get integral 0 to pi by 4 cos raised to power 4 एक्स से आप डिवाइड करेंगे तो एक कॉस कैंसिल हो जाएगा एक साइन के साथ मर्ज होकर टेन एक्स बन जाएगा एंड टू कॉस विल बिकम सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स ओके आप कॉस एस पर फोर एक्स को डिवाइड करेंगे देन इट विल गिव यू वन एंड साइन एस पर फोर एक्स को जब आप कॉस एस पर फोर एक्स से डिवाइड करेंगे यू विल गेट टेन एस टू पा फोर एक्स इंटू डी एक्स ना वी कैन सब्सटीट्यूट टेन स्क्वायर एक्स एज टी इफ यू सब्सिट्यू टेन स्क्वायर एक्स टी बाय डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग टू टेन एक्स एंड इन टर्न टेन एक्स का डेरिवेटिव एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स इन टू डी एक्स कैन बी रिप्लेस बाय डी टी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट वी आर गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड आर क्वेश्चन बाय टू सो टू टेन x x square x dx can be replaced by dt now we are also going to change our limits so when x is equals to 0 your t will be tan square 0 and tan 0 is 0 your t will be 0 okay and when x is equals to pi by 4 your t will be tan square pi by 4 and tan pi by 4 is 1 so t will be 1 ka square that is 1 so r i will become half as it is integral your limits will change from 0 to 1 2 tan x sec x into dx can be replaced by dt and our integrand will become 1 upon 1 plus t square now the integral of 1 upon 1 plus t square is tan inverse t and now we are going to put the limits for t that is 0 to 2 now first of all we are going to put our limit that is tan inverse of this is not 2 this is 1 tan inverse of 1 minus tan inverse of 0 and that is half into pi by 4 minus 0 is pi by 4 so your answer will be pi by h our next question is question number 27 that is evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 cos square x upon cos square x plus 4 sin square x dx now to evaluate this integral Let our i is integral zero to pi by two cos square x upon cos square x plus four sine square x into dx. Now, first of all, we are going to put uh, divide numerator and denominator by cos square x. So. By dividing numerator and denominator by cos square x, we will get one upon one plus four tan square x. Okay, so our equation is in tan. Now we can uh, to make substitution. 
दे कैन डू वन थिंग वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड बाय सेक्स स्क्र एक्स सो न्यूमरेटर में सेक्स स्क्र एक्स रहेगा आपका और डिनोमिनेटर में जो सेक्स स्क्र है दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन प्लस टैन स्क्र एक्स ओके वी कैन चेंज आर इंटीग्रल लाइक दिस we have multiplied by sec square x and divided by sec square x and in denominator we have written sec square x is equals to 1 plus tan square x now we are going to substitute tan x is equals to t now that will implies by differentiating sec square x dx is can be replaced by dt we are also going to change our limits when x is equals to 0 t will be tan 0 that is 0 and when x is equals to pi by 2 our t will be tan pi by 2 that is infinity so our i will become integral 0 to infinity sec square x dx can be replaced by dt and our integral will become 1 plus t square into 1 plus 4 t square dt now to and this integral can be uh, solved by using partial fraction so let's for uh, to divide it in two fractions we can let t square is equals to y for some time so our function is 1 plus y and 1 plus 4y okay and this can be written as a upon 1 plus y plus b upon 1 plus 4y now this can be written as a into 1 plus 4y plus b into 1 plus y now com by co on comparing the coefficients the coefficients of y will be give 4a plus b is equals to 0 and by comparing constant terms we will get a plus b is equals to 1 and by subtracting we will get 3a is equals to minus 1 so a will be minus 1 by 3 if a is minus 1 by 3 so b will be 1 minus a that is 1 plus 1 by 3 that is 4 by 3 so b is equals to 4 by 3 now substituting the values of a and b here we will get 1 upon 1 plus y 1 plus 4 by is equals to a is minus 1 by 3 and b is 4 by 3 so minus 1 by 3 upon 1 plus y and 4 by 3 upon 1 plus 4y now we uh, will substitute by back y is equals to x square and we will get this is equals to and integrating both sides we will get minus 1 by 3 integral of 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus x square dx plus 4 by 3 integral of 1 plus 4 x square dx now this will become our i and this is tan inverse of x we are also uh, put going to put our limits this is t square and limits is 0 to infinity so this was t square and limits 0 to infinity so 0 to infinity t square 0 to infinity t square so tan inverse t limits will be 0 to infinity plus 4 upon 3 this can be written as 0 to infinity 1 upon 1 plus 1 ka square plus 2t ka whole square dt and this will be tan inverse of infinity 
minus tan inverse of 0 and here by using the formula for 1 upon a square plus x square dx is equals to 1 upon a tan inverse x by a so we will get 1 upon a is tan tan inverse 2t but the derivative of 2t is 2 to so you divide karenge. so you will get tan inverse of infinity is pi by 2 and this is 0 so this will become pi by 6 minus pi by 6 plus this will be 2 by 3 tan inverse of infinity minus tan inverse of 0 and that is again will become pi by 2 only pi by 2 minus 0 so minus pi by 6 plus pi by 3 so it will give you pi by 6 and that is your answer your next question is question number 28 that is evaluate integral 0 to integral pi by 6 to pi by 3 sin x plus cos x upon root sin 2x dx now to evaluate this integral let i will be pi by 6 to pi by 3 sin x plus cos x upon square root sin 2x dx now first of all we can observe that sin x plus cos x is the derivative of sin x minus cos x so we will create that now to create that we are going to subtract 1 and add 1 in square root now this can be written as integral pi by 6 to pi by 3 sin x plus cos x upon square root aapka 1 to positive hai hai in dono mein se sin 2x minus 1 se agar aap 1 minus common nikal lein then it will become 1 minus sin 2x dx and the formula for 1 minus sin 2x will be sin x minus cos x whole square so we are going to apply here sin x plus cos x upon square root of 1 minus this will become sin x minus cos x whole square and now we can make a substitution that sin x minus cos x is equals to t. So the by taking derivative cos x minus sin cos x ka derivative minus sin x into dx will become can be replaced by dt and we are also going to change our limits. So when x is equals to pi by 6 your t will be sin pi by 6 minus cos pi by 6 and sin pi by 6 is 1 by 2 and cos pi by 6 is root 3 by 2 so 1 minus root 3 by 2 and when x is equals to pi by 3 your t will be sin pi by 3 minus cos pi by 3 and that is sin pi by 3 is root 3 by 2 and cos pi by 2 is half so it will become root 3 minus 1 by 2 so your i will be aapki limits kis mein change ho gai? 1 minus root 3 by 2 to root 3 minus 1 by 2 and sin x plus cos x dx can be replaced by dt and your integral will be, become 1 minus t square dt and this integral of 1 upon square root 1 minus t square will be sin inverse of t now in this function we are going to put our limits 
and that will give you sin inverse root 3 minus 1 upon 2 minus sin inverse 1 minus root 3 by 2 अगर आप आपके पास एक फॉर्मूला होता है and that is we know that sin inverse of minus x is minus sin inverse of x तो अगर आप एंगल का माइनस बाहर लेना चाहें तो वी कैन टेक नेगेटिव आउटसाइड सो आर आई विल बिकम यहाँ से हम माइनस अगर कॉमन लेते हैं देन यू विल गेट आई विल बी साइन इनवर्स ऑफ रूट थ्री माइनस वन अपॉइंट टू और अपने सेकेंड फंक्शन में से अगर आप माइनस कॉमन ले लेते हैं यू विल गेट द सेम फंक्शन अगेन एंड दैट विल गिव यू टू टाइम्स साइन इनवर्स रूट थ्री माइनस वन अपॉइंट टू एंड दिस इज योर आंसर योर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन इवेल्युएट इंटीग्रल जीरो टू वन वन अपॉन स्क्वायर रूट वन प्लस एक्स माइनस स्क्वायर रूट एक्स टी एक्स नाउ टू इवेल्युएट दिस इंटीग्रल लेट I is equals to integral zero to one, one upon square root one plus x minus root x dx. Now to evaluate this function, we can rationalize our function. So the rationalizing factor is square root one plus x plus square root of x. Multiply our function. By square root one plus x plus square root of x and divide by it. Now, in denominator, by applying the formula for a square plus b a plus b and a minus b, a minus b and a plus b will give you a square minus b square, and this will give you. Denominator as one, so you are left with square root one plus x plus square root of x dx. And now we can integrate them one plus x raised to the power half dx and x raised to the power half dx. And your answer is one plus x raised to the power three by two upon three by two. Here also x is to the power three by two upon three by two plus c. Okay, between zero to one, so you can finally take two by three common. If you are going to put one, then two is to the power two by three plus one is to the power three by two. Plus one raised to the power three by two, minus one raised to the power three by two, minus zero. So this will cancel out, and you are left with two upon three into two raised to the power three by two is two root two. So your final answer is four root two by three, and this is your answer. Our next question is question number thirty. That is, evaluate integral zero to pi by four sine x plus cos x upon nine plus sixteen sine two x dx. Now, to evaluate this integral, let i is equals to zero to pi by four sine x plus cos x upon nine plus sixteen sine two x dx. Now to evaluate this integral, we can observe that in numerator we are written the derivative of sine x minus cos x. So we can change our denominator as a function of sine x minus cos x by adding or subtracting one with sine two x. Okay, and this will give you zero to pi by four. Sine x plus cos x 
अपॉन नाइन प्लस सिक्सटीन या आप एक ब्रैकेट में रख लें नाइन प्लस सिक्सटीन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड फ्रॉम हेयर इफ यू टेक माई नेगेटिव कॉमन यू विल गेट वन माइनस साइन टू एक्स डीएक्स एंड नाउ वी कैन पुट द फॉर्मूला फॉर वन माइनस साइन टू एक्स एंड दैट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर वन माइनस साइन टू एक्स इज साइन एक्स माइनस कॉस एक्स होल स्क्वेयर ओके and now we can make substitution sin x minus cos x as t so our by taking derivative cos x plus sin x into dx it can be replaced by dt and to change the limits when x is equals to 0 your t will become sin 0 minus cos 0 that is minus 1 and when x is equals to pi by 4 your t will become sin pi by 4 minus cos pi by 4 that is 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 is 0 so our i will become minus 1 to 0 sin x plus cos x dx can be replaced by dt and our integral will become 25 minus 16 t square now this can be written as minus 1 to 0 25 can be written as 5 ka square and 16 t square can be written as 4t ka whole square dt now we can use the formula for integral 1 upon a square minus x square dx that is 1 upon log 2a log a plus x upon a minus x. So our i will be one upon two a. A is five. Log of five plus four t upon five minus four t. Since the four t is linear in t, so we can divide by its derivative. Now substitute the limits. That is. Minus one to zero, so it will become one upon forty. Log of if we put zero here, so log of one minus if we put t is equals to minus one, then five minus one is one, and five plus one is nine. Now log one is zero, so minus one by forty. Log of one by nine. और अगर माइनस वन आप ऊपर उसके अंदर लेके जाते हैं इसके पावर में देन इट विल गिव यू लॉ नाइन एंड दिस इज योर फाइनल आंसर सो स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियोस सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो दैट यू कैन गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑल माय अपकमिंग वीडियोस and students thanks for watching my videos have a nice day goodbye